Thomas DeLauer, and today I'm talking a little bit about quinoa. And quinoa, you've probably heard all about it because it's the one plant-based protein that is a complete protein. And what I mean by that is it means it contains all nine essential amino acids. So those are the amino acids that are critical to building muscle because they cannot be created by the body. They have to be supplemented by the diet. So quinoa is one of my favorite favorite ingredients of all time. It's also extremely high in uh, manganese, which is tremendous at replenishing red blood cells. So if you're working out hard or you're just starting an exercise regime, those red blood cells can be replenished quicker, which means you're going to recover quicker and ultimately be less sore. So it's just an all around superfood. So what this is, is this is a quinoa asparagus avocado salad. So it's got some pretty cool ingredients in it. We've got some organic spring mix here. And then we've got, of course, our quinoa that I've already cooked up. We've got some Bragg's Aminos ginger and sesame dressing, which is absolutely amazing. And it's very low sodium considering it's one of those uh, Asian dressings that usually has a lot of sodium in it. Then we're gonna add a little bit of that Himalayan pink salt so that you don't get the same amount of sodium that you'd get from traditional table salt. Of course, we've got some organic avocados. We've got some organic tomatoes that came straight from the garden. And then we've got a small amount of asparagus, probably about 10 stalks or so. So what I'm gonna do to start out, is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut up this asparagus. I'm gonna cut it up into about one inch strips, maybe a little bit less. Depends on how much you want and how big you wanna cut the chunks up. I like it about one inch because I really want everything to be pretty bite-sized. And the tomatoes, again, go for your preference, but we're gonna make them bite-sized. So in this case, I'm gonna probably Cut a few of them in quarters. And tomatoes are extremely high in lycopene. So lycopene is that nutrient that is very good for your heart, very good for the red blood cells, very good for your uh, circulatory system in general. Another thing, they're also really good for the prostate. So for those of you that uh, know someone that is getting north of 50 that's a male, you may want to encourage them to eat some tomatoes because it is going to help that prostate because once you get north of 50, you got to start being aware of that stuff. And then the rest, I'm going to use just these tiny bite-sized tomatoes that I won't have to cut up. The whole premise of this meal is just to make it as bite-sized as you can. So you can just take a simple bite, don't have to cut anything, don't need a knife once it's already made. Okay, and then of course, we're going to cut up the avocado, but the avocado we're going to add to the salad totally last. We want that to be on the top of the salad. We're going to cut that into relatively small chunks. I want to get that avocado down to about half inch size pieces here. And this is a half of a large uh, organic Haas avocado. Avocados give us those omega-3 fatty acids that we need as well as that um, iron that we need to help build some strong bones and muscles and red blood cells. Now this step is optional. You can take the lettuce, you can take your spring mix and you can cut it up into uh, smaller chunks or if you really like the big leaves mixed in with your quinoa, you can leave it like that as well. But generally this recipe is gonna call to have the salad just finely chopped, or I'm sorry, uh, just coarsely chopped. You don't have to go super fine when you're cutting that. Just enough so that it can tie in with that quinoa really well and not just be uh, a giant bite of lettuce without much quinoa. We want it to kind of mix together pretty well. Now when you cook quinoa and you're gonna put it in the water and you're gonna, you're gonna bring it to a boil and then you're gonna let it simmer and you're gonna let it steam for a little bit, you wanna make sure that you wash the quinoa first. And the reason that you do that is because if you don't, there's kind of a layer on the outside of the quinoa that makes it taste really bitter. So we wanna eliminate that by just giving it a quick rinse with some cool water and then going ahead and cooking it. So all you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna add your spring mix in, and add your asparagus on in, scoop on in with your tomatoes here. I'm gonna save the avocado for last. And you know by now that I love that apple cider vinegar. It's really good for just keeping that healthy skin, keeping the body detoxified so you can have that energy so you look good when you go out with your friends. That's what's really important with that apple cider vinegar. It's just so good for you in so many aspects, such a good detoxifier. Don't have to add too much salad dressing there. Give that a little bit of a mix. I'm gonna add a little more. Stir that together a little bit. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of this Himalayan salt. And if you've watched some of my other videos on my cooking channel, you've seen that I use the Himalayan pink salt a lot. And the reason that I use it is because it does not have as much sodium as traditional iodized table salt. And it's got a wide range of minerals in it that actually help keep the sodium balance and the water retention leveled off in your body. So you're not gonna bloat and hold a lot of water weight like you normally would from eating a high sodium meal. You know, like when you go out to eat and you, uh, the next day you're totally bloated and you're up three or four pounds, that's just from that water retention from the sodium, that Himalayan pink salt totally combats that, which is great. So giving this a little bit of a mix and now we are good to just top it off with some avocado. You can mix the avocado in if you want, but what you have to be aware of when you're putting the avocado in is that avocado is soft and if you mix it into the quinoa, it might mash up a little bit. So you can either add it just at the end or you can add it to each individual serving. I'm going to mix it in lightly. You can always add more salt and pepper to taste, but all in all, we have got ourselves a quick and easy appetizer or a quick and easy side dish that's going to stay good for a few days. It's got your complete proteins. It's got your omega-3s and your healthy fats. It's got your lycopene. It's got your asparagus, which is another great diuretic. So it's going to help you remove that excess water away from the body. We are talking about an all around superfood meal and it tastes amazing. It's got this nutty, full bodied taste and so many different flavors and the apple cider vinegar gives just a little bit of a zing at the end. That makes it amazing. So I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next video and be sure to check out some of the other recipes so that you can build an entire meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the healthy anti-inflammatory way. Take care guys.